to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is scope of a variable? How can we change the scope of a variable in SSIS 2008 and SSIS 2012? The scope of a variable is the area where the variable can be seen or can be used. That, that's what the, I will call a scope. So let's go to the SSDT and understand what exactly is the scope. So I am in the package right now and if I will create a, a variable let me hit uh, go to the control flow pan and the right click and go to variables and I'm using SSDT SQL Server data tools you can click here and uh, the, on this tab I can click here and get the, the variables so variable window look like this one if you are using old versions of uh, SSIS such as uh, 2005 and 2008 or 2 you will not have this tab here so you have to click in the control flow pan and click uh, on the variables to get to the variable windows now let me create a variable once I create the variable here I see the scope right now the scope is the package one so what is package one excuse me package one is my package name so the scope of this variable is package one that means if I create this variable this will be a scene this can be seen this will be available on the package level so entire package any component in the package such as uh, uh, data flow task uh, containers or even handlers uh, the every component of uh, SSIS package can use this variable uh, and it will be available to them for use but if uh, I will have uh, for each loop container here and then uh, I create uh, the variable uh, on this uh, for each loop container or want to create a variable that's only available to the for each loop container I can I can do that that uh, variable values will not be available to the data flow task first or second or any other containers or even even handler uh, if I will create it later the scope uh, whatever the scope of that variable is uh, that's where it is going to be available so let's create uh, another variable and when I create it I can't really change the scope right away so I have to create it and I will say for each loop loop variable now what I can do here I can go here on this uh, tab and say move variable and it will give me uh, the option to set the scope so I can change the scope here on the executables I can set to the for each loop container and that's where uh, it will set now now you can see that the variable scope is set to for each loop container and this variable is going to be available only in for each loop container and all the tasks inside for each loop container so other tasks will not be able to use this variable but uh, this variable where we say variable this this uh, variable can be used uh, for any of uh, the tasks uh, such as the data flow execute SQL containers such as the for each loop or for loop or sequence container as well as for event handlers so that's uh, for the SSDT SQL Server data tools how to change the scope of a variable and if I will delete uh, let's say if I will delete this for each loop container this uh, variable will be deleted automatically let me delete this one so you see that as uh, the scope was set to the for each loop uh, for that variable that variable is also deleted if you are using a uh, old version such as SSIS 2005 or 2008 uh, you would not have this move variable option there so what you have to do you have to drop the variable and recreate uh, by on the specific uh, scope of a container or a task so how you do that you click uh, on the task and then uh, click on the variables and then it will automatically select that but here in uh, SSDT when I select this one and uh, then select the variables uh, this is not uh, giving me option uh, to create the uh, scope of that variable on data flow I have to always go here in the move variable and then move or change the scope of uh, that variable so in old versions you select the uh, your uh, task and then uh, right uh, on the side just click it and go to variables and uh, that will create a variable for for you on that scope of a container or a task or you know even handler thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video